Hey, what's up, guys? Wild and Customs here. And today we're going to review Deadpool from the X Men Origins Wolverine line. Kind of old, but definitely a great looking figure. Picked him up at Comic Con, and I'm really happy because I don't have a Deadpool yet in my 3 to 4 inch figure line. So, here's a look at the back. Let's take a look at that. Pretty cool. Alright, now I'm going to open him up. I'm going to take a look at him. Alright guys, here he is out of the box. I have to say, prob probably, if not the best, or one of the best figures I have ever bought for the 3 and 4 inch scale figures. This is really cool, really fun to have, really, really fun to play around with. And I'm really happy I, I uh, started collecting these 3 to 4 inch figure lines. Because, as you can see, I could match them up with other 3 to 4 inch, inch, three to four inch figures. And now there's so many coming out now that... Basically, the six-inch scale has become obsolete, but it's really cool. Like now, I have a small figure like him pairing up against Snake Eyes, which is pretty cool. And the best part about these guys is they don't take a lot of room up, so that's a big plus. So let's take a look at the figure. All right, guys, here he is, Deadpool. I have to admit, a really awesome figure. I know he's not new. He's an old version, but I think he's probably the best version. I know there's also a new one that came out that's a two-pack for the Marvel Universe that came with Taskmaster, I believe. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure, actually. But when I was at Comic-Con, I saw both of them side-by-side, side, and I just had to pick him up. I didn't really care about Taskmaster, but I also just like this version better. It looks a lot cooler. His strap is a lot cooler, I believe, also. I like the strap, how it goes down the middle, up the middle, and separates on the sides. I think that looks a lot better compared to the two-pack version that I believe had the brown straps that just went down the sides like a backpack. So this looks cooler to me, basically. And the figure itself just looks awesome. Nothing special about it. No special detail, no special paint job, no special sculpting really. Just a really good classic Deadpool. Let's take a look at him. Also he has a little droop in the back of his mask which is really cool. Just a really nice classic Deadpool. Happy to have him in my collection. Has a holster here. The belt strap is a little bit multicolored, but it actually honestly looks doesn't look that bad. To tell you the truth. Yeah, has katana swords in the back. And yeah, that's basically it. Nice classic looking Deadpool. He comes with obviously his katana swords, and he also came with a pistol. Came with a black pistol actually. I didn't like it. It didn't fit that well in his hand. It's kind of small. So I took one of the pistols from Captain America and it fit really nicely in his hand. So I just kept it. Plus it's silver. I think it matches well with him. And he also came with one sigh. But honestly it's so big so I don't even put it on him. And of course he came with a nice awesome AK-47 which is badass looking. And the best part of collecting all these figures in the 3-4 inch line, you get all the different guns that you can give to either Deadpool or even Punisher. So that's always a big plus. Uh, another thing is his swords. I had a little trouble putting them in his hand. However, what I did was I took those straps, those elastic straps that tie the figures in. I cut a little piece and glued it onto the back of his handle so you don't really see it and then when he puts it in his hand like this the inside goes in there it fits nice and t snuggy snuggly whatever nice and snug so it doesn't fall out or anything so it's just nice and stable and everything like that so that's just a little tip for you guys if you guys are, ever have that problem you can do that too and yeah, I don't know, not much to say about this guy, he's just a really good figure. I know a lot of people either have him or have a Deadpool, but I just had to review him because I'm just so impressed by it. 
going in, going into uh, collecting these three or four inch figures, I was really I really didn't like them at first when I first saw them being released a couple years ago. Well, they honestly the first wave looked like shit to tell you the truth, but then I don't know they impressed me more and more. The more I buy them, the more I love them. I'm happy to have a big collection now and still growing. Articulation is really good on this guy. As you can see, I have him in a nice pose right here. Kneeling over, holding a big blaster that came from Star Wars. So it's pretty cool. His articulation is pretty standard, actually, compared to all of the other Marvel Legends. He has basically all the joints that you could think of. Wrist. Got the chest one, obviously. You know, uh, you know the deal. But it's actually really fun. It's really good that he has auto articulation because he always jumps around. Has you could put him in really cool poses, like I had him in before when he was posing off with Snake Eyes. So really cool figure to have him. Really nice articulation. Bottom line, awesome figure. All right, guys. Now we're gonna get into size comparison. All right, guys. Size comparisons. He fits in pretty well, I guess. Obviously taller than Wolverine. Taller than Snake Eyes, about the same height, a little bit taller than Bucky, but smaller than smaller than Iron Man and Captain Britain. So I don't know exactly how tall he's supposed to be, but I don't really care. He fits in nicely. Just really happy to pick him up. Def he definitely sh has to be in your collection. Just like if you collect Marvel Legends, you have to have the Deadpool in that series. I used to have that. I was really happy when I got that figure, and I'm just as happy that I bought him. So definitely a must-have in your collection, guys. Taking a last look at him. So guys, that's about it. Thank you for watching once again. And thank you everybody who subscribed to me. I have made my 100 plus mark and I will have the contest coming up soon. Just wait and be patient. I'll have it up by the end of this week probably or over the weekend. I'll post it up. So thank you once again, guys. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe. Do whatever you want. Just pay attention. And I'll see you guys around. Peace.